right, hello everyone. We have a an interesting video for you. Have you ever seen anybody driving around in a ski with no sponsons, no rub rails, no traction mats, no traction mats, and, and barely any paint, and pieces missing everywhere. Pieces missing everywhere. We had to grab this one to go out so that when I take mine out, in case it broke down, we had a tow boat. So Wesley, tell us about tell. I'm not. A, I'm anti Kawasaki. I have zero knowledge All right, this on is, their little things. You know. This is a ski that I grabbed that was in excellent condition, and I decided to keep it and build it for my daughter. It was actually prepped for paint sitting in my garage until it ended up out here on the water today. So I'm going to have to prep it again. Well, engine's nice and clean. Yeah, it is. This is a '98 Kawasaki uh, ZXI 1100. Um, when this ski's done, everything on it will be freshened up. It's going to have new paint, new seat cover. Uh, new pad, handlebar cover. You're new going. You're mats. going for pretty and, and OEM, not uh, uh, yeah, pieced, not pieced together like my contraption. Completely stock. And why we're at this, let me show you. A lot of people are scared of this type of ski because it's a constant velocity carburetor. I saw ski. that. I had no idea what that meant. And it's it's slightly different. This the carburetors on here are actually built like what would be on a street bike. They're totally different from the type of carburetors that we deal with. Kind of like what my Banshee had. What the, I had Keenan's. They had like a plunger? A plunger with okay. a needle on it. Absolutely. Okay. And a lot of people are scared of it. I wasn't. And I was able to uh, tune this thing and get it right. And it's highly reliable as you've seen today. We rode out here for what, an hour or two? Yeah. So I think I whipped that ass, didn't I? Oh, you did. It's I a did. Big, it's a big old sled. I a, did whip its ass. But it's anyways. a big old sled with a, with a <laughs> yeah, big... I'm not going to let you go down. Well. He did. It's a big old sled with a big motor. It it only runs what? What do you think? 52, 53 miles an hour, or 51 or something Probably like that. Probably faster than that. That thing does move. That's got you know. It does move, but for my daughter, it's going to be a great ski. It's well, I want people want to see. You going to do a flyby for us? Yeah. Let's let me, do a flyby. See what it sounds like. No sponsors on this thing. It's got to be scary to try to keep that thing straight. This is a lot more well built than mine. That's the difference. You never know how long mine. You never know how long mine's gonna last. He's out of gas. He just made that corner and gas shift. He's out of gas. So but, how many hours would you say that has on it? What's it again? It's a ZXI 1100. ZXI 1100 um, with constant velo velocity carbs. Right. Uh, when I picked it up- Did they make it in any other model? Uh, yes, they did. So uh, they did, so the constant velocity was like the Larry of the trucks or whatever. Uh, it was just a thing they went through trying to get trying to get better before right they well when, when the epa and everything wants to have their numbers on fuel or economy before it and, was like before the uh direct injection and stuff like that right but what would one of these run you if you bought it in a used condition what do people you know want to expect to pay for them in great condition uh, well, yeah let's say this one right now how much the engine's clean how much you want for that with the ratty body work no, no, not ratty body work. Completely clean. Right, I get, I get, eighteen hundred bucks. I get it. Trailer. Right, so if someone's got one that looks nice and it's clean like that, over two thousand. Uh, I don't know. Eighteen hundred's pushing it. With mats and decals. Uh, yeah, and all paint. fresh. Eighteen hundred with a single trailer. I got you. Does this have trim on it, Wes? Yes, it does. So it's got uh, trim. Does it work? Right here, absolutely. It works um, perfectly, and um, as you can see, I like that tack though. That looks pretty sharp. Yeah, your your RPMs here. Um, I was actually hitting uh, seven thousand four hundred RPMs today. Does uh, your speedometer work too? Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, I didn't think it. That's mean, the only thing on here. That a lot of work. a lot of skis don't have a working speedometer. But I actually but... don't care because don't none of the speedometers on jet skis work properly. Right, it's called a dreamometer. Yeah, that's why we use uh, GPS apps. And I'm not I'm not really I'm skeptical about the GPS apps you know, as well. I don't. And, I want a radar gun. 
There you go. I might buy one. So what else is here? What's the, so you got the regular anti CD key thing. Yeah, right? and this right here is completely stupid. Usually on most of these, you can just move it with your hand. What is that? It's. It's nothing. It's just an on-off switch, man. But you can do it by hand. So that's what? That's like a double, it's, double. It's completely. It's completely. Stupid. Oh, look at the little ski there. Let's see that yeah. again. As you can see, like when I turned it on, you can see my <laughs> BTS working. Yeah. You can see that I have absolutely no fuel left. Yeah, you're empty, dude. I'm completely empty. But... And you got a finger trigger here, so yeah. pretty cool. A little. You need a door on your. I'm still. To... I'm completely. Oh, yeah, all that stock. was off because you were. Bit, yeah. I'm completely stock on here. I still have the uh, stock choke, everything. In right. There. Primer, none of that. They don't have an oh shit bar in the back of these? Uh, yeah, it's off. Oh, okay. Everything's, Everything's off. off, guys. Listen, before Wesley we got here, up. I had to put all this together, man. I had to... <laughs> I had to, I'm like, I had to put I'm like, come on, Wes, I'm ready to go back out. What the hell are you doing? Here he is. Oh, I got to put it together, man. What, I'm doing, Eric. what are you doing? What are you doing? You're trying to get this thing running Listen, because we, it's we just a, a, we, we need a tow boat and this thing is reliable. And okay, we need a tow boat. So, so Eric, what you saw Wesley on the five, you saw Wesley on purple power out there. Okay. But Wesley's got, you know, oh, this thing is prepped for paint and I don't give a shit. I'll, yeah. We're taking it out there and he's I getting will, beat I, without mats or I paint on it. I will sand it down again, but this is going to be our 1100 three cylinder. I'm having to put all the, uh, hardware back on it to get the seat and we're everything. We're fired up. Look at that little baby. Look, look at the little baby. I say here on this day, uh, we're going out there right now. I'm going to whip this thing Look, with, no, I with, got no with five minutes on my motor. No hardware at all to put on. <laughs> oh, you got a lighter advantage, bro. Like, hey. Look, I'm doing gonna, it. Look. I'm doing it. All right, we're going to do this. Let me get back to work so we can get this damn thing in the water. So, so why did we end up here, though? Because which ski broke down earlier? Okay. Mine, Let's purple help. power. It runs. <laughs> well, there you are. Uh, we could sit here and do reviews on different... What's Wes got today? That's our new... Uh... <laughs> Why? Because another ski shows up all the time. <laughs> we can just go through and do review. I, again, I don't really know much about this, or I'm sure I could figure it out. Work on it. It's a motor. I get that. But like, I'm just stuck on the CD. I really don't want to be what you got. You know, in your Kawasaki, your Yamaha. I don't have, I, I'm about finished with learning with CD. I can master those. And well, that's one thing it. you can say about this crew is, don't none of us mess with Polaris. You know what? You got a point. A point. A serious point. Someone needs None to go. Someone needs to get a Polaris. So you got the little rat tail, rooster tail, comes out the back of the water. They're just not reliable. Nobody wants them. I will throw this in though. A lot of people don't do Facebook. You know, there's some people that just don't do it, and I wouldn't do Facebook except for these pages here. So the Facebook page for Sebastian Blue Crew has a lot of good stuff on it. First of all, we crossed 200 members, so that's pretty cool. But there's a lot of, uh, you know, funnies in here. There's a lot of good material, people buying stuff and rebuilding it and fixing it. I will say that Wesley, you just seen, and Cody are probably the two parts guys and the guys that are flipping these things. You know, they'll they'll get some skis that need work. They'll put new pistons in, they'll, re, you know, rebuild them, whatever. And they'll turn around and flip them, uh, sell them, you know, and, and you know what you're getting. I mean, these guys have, you know, different parts, Yamahas and Kawasaki's and stuff. But they, you know, you send them a message on Facebook, you know, throw a comment in, send them a message. Those guys probably have it. I got a few parts around, but nothing really special. Uh, this guy just, you know, there's some good funnies in here. So you want to check out, if you do do Facebook, the Sebastian Blue Crew. It's just some good stuff on there and a lot of uh, help that we all try to contribute, you know. None of us are professionals. None of us are experts, but everybody likes to have a good time. And, uh, you know, the Sebastian Blue Crew Facebook page has a lot of stuff here. Thanks, guys. Uh, more videos on the way. Look at that.